Alrighty, so let's um let's get into this bad boy here. Uh, I hit the. So we'll, we'll have his oh, chat and okay. stuff on uh, the go. I guess I'll count this down. Yeah, yo, he's rampaging. He wants to be upstairs with my wife. He loves my wife, and I can't play him. So do I. Okay, you just jump in, it's fine. So it won't be too much to talk about here. I imagine Matias is gonna murder this here, no problem. Yeah, this rating system I stole from Chess.com and um, modified it a little bit. So we're mostly gonna be rating decision making stuff. Yeah, neither have I. And typically what I've been trying to do is rate things based on when the decision is made, not the outcome. And if the outcome is good, then I'll rate it as positive. If the outcome is negative, I'll rate it as negative. Yeah, it's just that this is how it is. It's a randomizer. Look at these stacks. We're going to get rid of everything too, aren't we? Nice. All right. So we, we're on the go here. Here we go. This is a good start. What's his time for photo burn? 56 and a half. That's not bad. You want that. 44 is really good. Without doing the blade dashing and stuff like that, then you get a bit faster. Oh, and he jumped. Well, it sounds like Chris is having some problems. I love having the chat open too because we can react to like what um, Matias would be reacting to, right? Especially if you will spoil things or say they die and stuff like that. Plus L plus ratio. All right. So we want Matias to make death skip here. Let's see how he approaches it. If he uses our method or some other method. Well, he's not using mine by starting with the, the charge here, so he's going to have to stop because he won't have enough MP. Yeah, here's the stop. And then you get going. But the biggest thing is you do it. Yeah, and he does it. Perfect. That's all that matters. We're going to rate that as good. Probably just because you updated the tracker. There's ways to do that without stopping as the wolf, um, or at least not having to transform. Yo, another shaman shield and a moon rod. Okay, you're not gonna care what those. If you men use it, it's a pro pro bit of a problem. All right, nice. Avoiding that. Two minutes over here. That seems fine. So we'll see how quickly we'll get to. Um... Oh, he's oh, Chris is saying it's only his second lichen seed. Okay. Matias is probably feeling pretty good about this then. Oh, my thing's screwed up over here. Let's do this. That, maybe. Being slow. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. Doesn't do the um the IQ check, I like that. Not that big of a decision. Yeah, we're gonna say that's a good decision. Yeah. I like skipping the IQ check. Avoiding the poison, also good. Okay. Thank you, Seraphin. That's probably good considering this one started at about 5.30. I'm hoping to do it. Right, we'll see how he does um, Slogger and Guy on here. Oh, he's going for the Wolf Strat. Here we go. A little early. Doesn't get the spell. So he's not using my Strat, that's okay. I think doing the Wolf, though, you got to go further to make it work. Right. So we'll... We'll say it's good. Really We've got a lot good for Matias so far, but it's early. Like Yo, Yak, let's go. Hope you're doing well. We're doing a little run review here. This is a great place to wolf. Yeah. It's not like safe, you just, you know you're getting into something. Ew, heart refresh, gross. Yeah. Alright, so now That's I think they just opened up the clock room today, so it's always open. Mm -hmm. But this won't be applicable to Matthias here, so we'll see if he can make the clock cycle. He's in a good place to be able to do it right now. Stop a bit early, <laughs> that's okay. Seems cool. I was very interested in Popeye's camera time, well I could believe that. Yo, get the cat in here. I wonder if that leg is on his side or mine? Or just the VOD? He's got plenty of time here though, so this is going okay. Yo, okay, gravity boots. Now it's time to make decisions. Okay, here we go. So now it's relevant. So in a perfect world, which I don't think we can live in, I know I've screwed it up. The, um, oh, there's money here. Yeah, you take this. This is very good. Yeah. You take the money. He's got 20-ish seconds, like 25-ish seconds to make the clock cycle. He probably can't make, no, 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 get out of there. Don't, you don't have time for that. Yo, yo, yo go, 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 go. 
Boa, provavelmente que vai ter sim, cara. Because he wants to go up right now. Or at least I think going up is the, a good move. It's kind of hard. Oh no, this is bad. Hold on, what are we doing? We're throwing away the clock cycle! Matias, no! He's missed it! He's missed it, it's over. Because it's at 57 where it changes on that. He won't get it. Yeah, it's over. Okay, so we're going to say that's a bit of a mistake. I don't know if he wanted to go up here, but he lost his opportunity moving around with with some, some crappy wolf movement. And now, oh, this is going to hurt him too. There you go. You don't get the air control when you are in um, when you do that from... Yeah, get the J. Sorry, I'm trying to talk about too many things at once. So, it's a mistake. So the wolf movement he did before getting to like the clock hallway there didn't help him at all and cost him seconds. Yo, burp. You better believe it. And now he's waiting. Yes, he's blown it here. Hold on. So we need to talk about this for a second. Okay. Yo, Chaosvania. How you doing, man? We got everyone in chat now. All right. Now, just in time to roast Matias here. Okay. So let's take it back for a second, all right? The, um... Let's take it back to here. And now, I didn't notice this at first. So, whoops. Yeah. There's a gem up here. I know you can't see it. He He picks up that there's a gem up here. I think that is very good. And he had time for it. So we look here, 427. He's got 33 seconds if he's trying to make the clock cycle to get this and get up there. That's enough time. This here, I would say is an excellent move. But we're going to take everything in and of itself, right? So that was very good. And then we keep this going here. Oh, he's... No, no, he just lined himself over the jump. That's fine. So now he's got 29 seconds, all right? Not a lot of time, but... He's got time to make it here. That's good. He's going up here. Here's where the problems start. So now he's trying to get greedy, all right? So look at his timer. He's got 21 seconds now. So he's going to do another item check. But he hasn't... I don't know if he's seen it. And actually, he had the opportunity to see this. Actually, no, this is the one you can't see right away. The one below, you can, you can peek that item while you're going to check the other stuff. This one you can't without jumping. And so he did, I don't think he jumped to begin with. And and personally, I don't. Like, the odds of you actually being able to do this item check. But you got to be looking at the clock here. Okay, you got 21 seconds. What's more important? One item or your route, right? Like, how much... Okay, so let me go here. So he's got 18 seconds now. And this is where it falls apart. Okay, so sometimes people will... Um, they will over here start a wolf movement, and if you're really, really good with wolf, you can make it work. Although I don't think it saves time. The um, or if it does, you're a madman. The um, and then he's gonna try to turn to wolf here. Like this makes no sense. Turning to wolf here is silly. You're even if your plan is to like just jump up here. Maybe he's trying to save himself a jump, but you're never gonna get enough speed off this kind of incline. You'd have to start up below, and you'd have to do the wolf charge. Even if you did the charge here. That you can't jump out of the initial chart, so he's going to be like getting his jump control back over here. So we've got 10 seconds left on the clock, friends. All right, this is never going to work. This here, and he wants to go up. Like, if he didn't want to go up, it's not a big deal. He fails that, jumps up like this, that doesn't really matter too much, but he's going to screen transition again, and it's already over. So I know the, the timer doesn't say five minutes. But the problem is that the timer doesn't start where the game time starts. It starts when you get access to Richter. The game clock is three seconds ahead. It's already over. And actually, I should have minus that in the other time, too. And I know Matthias knows this. Because I think he's the one who pointed it out to me, if I remember correctly. So shouts to him. So this is a big blunder. Stops, overshoots it, even if he was going to try to get up there. But probably realized he can't. Now he's going to check this stuff, which is fine. Checking this out of logic, especially now that you've blown the thing, although these jumps are problematic. Although I guess they're not. These jumps don't even matter. Because if he's waiting, it doesn't matter at all. So let's, we're going to get back to where he was in a second here. Finds nothing. Yeah, don't go for the cross. Oh, I guess you might as well go for the cross if you're going to wait for the thing. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, do as I say, not as I do. I guess so. But um, is he going to wait for the clock? So... If we back this up a second. So he might be checking the... Well, I mean, let's see here. I want to see exactly how much time he's going to lose. Right here is... So, 
32 seconds, but you got a minus three for the thing, so... Or plus three, because that's when it's going to open. So he's going to lose 25 seconds here. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem. So there is one argument to be made that, like, he was able to do the checks up here because he missed the cycle, right? So there's a bit of a... Um, there is a bit of, like... Um, like, he mitigated his losses a little bit here. But you're going to be coming back around here anyways with the lab loops. It's not a big deal. Now, technically, if the if the clock cycle is still active, right, or if it was open, and he fell back down, the clock um, statue is long... Or, sorry, let me rephrase. Yo, Matthias is here. Oh, man, Matthias, we're grilling you for this one. Man, you missed this clock cycle. Anyways, so just to explain the clock cycle for everyone, right? If the, if the statue is open and you go up here, the statue will remain open no matter how much time passes, as long as you don't fall um, below here. No, no, we won't always do too much. I think your beginning game was really good, so, so cheers for that. You can see, look, we've already got three good moves for you here. So, the, um, so technically you could go up before the clock cycle ends, or before the clock um, closes the door, do anything you want above, and when you come back down, you can do some gravity jumps and wolf transformations to get up here, but it's extremely difficult. I tried it the other day and I failed it, which actually ended up being good for me because of where relics were, but, um, but yeah. At any rate, there was an opportunity to get up here. We messed around with some, some wolf movement. You'll, you'll see it in the, in the VOD there, Matthias. But, um, so ultimately, so we're losing 25 seconds, and we had the opportunity to get up here. And, like, I know why we want to go up, because it's, it's a fast route up there. I'm just trying to think, is this a mistake or is it a blunder? You know, I think it's a blunder because of the, the movement. We had, we had an opportunity to save a good amount of time here. Like, if the idea was, and Matthias, you'll know better than anyone, was to just go up, and then we just did these checks because we could, then we've lost, it like, a whole minute, right? The um, And, like, it was in our ability to get there. The um, Because you're on a good pace. Like, I thought it was really good. So, we're going to put this as a blunder. We're going to, though, we're going to go here and say that the Garnet grab was excellent. The, um, you, you, he definitely had time for the Garnet grab. And um, being astutely aware to grab that was, I think, a very good decision. And then just like some of the wolf movement shenanigans afterwards um, caused the blunder here. Now, here's the other thing, too. We've got 25 seconds. We have to use this time wisely. We should be going over and killing Fleeman. Now, we might get a level up, which would suck, but there's the common drop table, so at least we can get um, um, dollar bags. And they might give you a drop, right? Like, who knows? Like, they give you a library card. Their drop rate is terrible, but standing around here doesn't do us anything. There we go. Attack potion is fantastic. I'm going to write that down. We have an attack potion. Some weird sound going on. And especially as a, as we're going to all rocks here, right? If we f end up fighting all rocks, sure this will be very good. Yeah, now there's a bit of an option play here after he does Colosseum. He could either he could yeah, grab the teleporter and work back to the entrance, yeah, really? which would give him more in logic checks. Yeah. He could go down to the library, which wouldn't be the best. The um, or he could go to all rocks and do the um, the clockwise yeah. route, which would also be very good. <laughs> this is looking like my chess match blunders. Oh, don't worry, me too. Me too. Oh, there's gold ring here. Okay. Wait. He, oh, he's gonna leave it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He's going to leave it, friends. This here is an excellent move. This is a fantastic move. All right. So he doesn't gain anything from making this fight right now. He's going to be coming back here later, maybe with mist. The um, maybe with more offense, but that's not really a big deal. If he comes back with bat, making the movements faster. The um, so. The only way you get this screws you is if you happen to get, like, let's say, Silver Ring in the lab and you have to go up to get this and then the door is closed, which won't be a problem going forward. But would it be better to use the attack potion for phase one or two with all rocks? I'd say use it on phase one and continue it into phase two because phase one is free with the attack potion. The um, Let me just finish my thought here. But anyway, so... The um, coming back here with Mist, he can avoid the whole two cutscenes, the fight with Minotaur and Werewolf, going up and around over the Blade Masters and stuff. So I think it does make sense to come back here with Mist, the um, or at least give yourself the opportunity for it. I think leaving a ring here is you have to remember 
but leaving a ring here is very cool. So we haven't been doing our complexity counter thing yet, which we should be. So we're going to put gravity boots up here in level one. And this is in logic. So we're going to be putting the rando ring here in the middle of uh, number two. So that's fantastic. So just to answer your question about the attack potion. So attack potion is going to give us plus 20 attack for 70 seconds. The fight shouldn't last that long, especially because phase one, you can really wreck all rocks quickly as long as you don't let him run away from you. And there's a setup for that. Once he does his initial teleport, if you don't chase him, instead of him running away, he will respawn with skulls or bats. And when he's doing that, you can just rapidly fire punch him um, and you'll probably kill him. The um, At least the first phase. And then you still have the attack potion for the second phase. What you really want to do, though, is at the same time, because um, spells are pretty good against the second phase of all rocks, you, before you even get into your fists, um, use the shield spell, which with by default is a shaman shield, which will give you plus 20 to intelligence, and then pop the intel or attack potion into your fists, the, um, and you'll probably have a good time with it. All right, so let's let's go. Let's see oh, where we go from here. So we've got some excellent moves here. So he's got cash, which he may not have had if he didn't see that garnet. He's leaving this behind, and we have to remember it. Oh, do yeah, you gotta you gotta do the um, yeah. This is let's say this is an inaccuracy. You got to do this move. You've got to do the wolf charge. It's even like yeah, this is a justified inaccuracy. Look how much time we're losing here. The hits don't matter because our defense is gonna take it. But like we lost like okay. five or six seconds there, uh, just getting beat around by that sword. Okay, so let's see where we're going here. There's there's lots of good decisions you can make here. Also, what's in He's gonna stay. That's fine. He can beat all rocks where he has, especially with the attack potion. When you see that attack potion, your confidence should go really really high. Okay, gonna bungle this a bit here. Okay, we're gonna do this. Oh, we're gonna leave the one that's fine. Yeah, this is tough here. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, you gotta get in there. Okay, there we go. What do we get? So we're gonna leave one behind. Grabbing this is... Oh, no, wait, hold on. No, wait, hold on. That's an inaccuracy. Iframe producing no. items? You want that. When the color is between 0 to 15. High potion? Okay, well, he's rewarded anyways. So we'll note that he has uh, a high yeah. potion Focus because that gives iframes. Weird numbers. But yeah, you, you grab that every time. Because that... Could come in very handy. I, I, yeah, just go back down. Just, just go back down. Oh, this is. Oh, this is. Well, no, that's the luck potion. Never mind. I thought it was a smart potion. If it was the smart potion, well, I guess you've got the shield rod spell, so you don't really need it. Anyways, normally a smart potion is very, very good for early all rocks. Not what we want to hear. Okay, so let's see how we're going to address this. Yeah. So here's the problem. <laughs> oh, actually, no. This is good. So you see here. So we did one good thing here, right? Let's. Bring this back. Okay. So I think the bad thing is if we're going to rely on our spells, we've got the shield rod, right? We can use the shaman shield to get the plus 22 intelligence. And I, I think, like, you need to be using the attack potion here. Like, we should be beating phase one immediately. So that, I think, is an inaccuracy how we start this fight. But what's really good, and we're going to note it as good, see how he hits all rocks here, right? He gets all rocks out of his chair. Aurox teleports away. Matthias does not immediately chase. You saw he hold, held up there for a bit. It was long, and he stopped. He stopped short to do two things. He he didn't allow Aurox to fly, uh, to to go backwards to chase because that would lose time. And I think what he was doing there, we're going to see it. I think he was charging a um, a summon or a Tetra Spirit. Yeah. Yes, he was. Okay, so he had a bit of an inaccuracy. But his strategy otherwise is excellent. But we needed to be we need to get rid of our shield rod because our, our fist will probably hit more often. Although it'll deal with the bats, so maybe it's a bit off. And then you should have used the attack potions. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, look at the shield rod doing work against these guys. You could even justify taking off the shield and having the shield rod for a bit of range against the bats and then punching them when the bats are gone. Five seven zero then sure. Now this isn't going to work as well, yeah, because the skulls. So now we're burning through some MP here. And you see, like, this fight's going on a long time. So that inaccuracy did cost him a lot. It cost him, like, 30-ish seconds or something. 
And now we're going to use this without the plus two um, offense that the shield would have gave us. Actually, we need to upgrade this. This is, this is a mistake. We've lost a good 30 seconds to a minute here, probably. Oh, I like that backdash through it. That was pretty cool. Oh, and now we're going to watch out for our health. He has the high potion if he needs it. But yeah, this shield rod's not going to do enough damage. It doesn't double. Oh, now he's in pro. Oh, okay. He got into a good position. Nope. And his armor is going to tank most of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not in a position to die, yeah, just, just keep hitting him. You know he's almost dead. There we go. Yeah, so the beginning strategy of this fight was fantastic. We not only didn't chase, we used the opportunity to... Actually, you know what? That's not even high enough. It's brilliant. That was a brilliant move. Even though this whole fight is a mistake, the, um, we can't not credit that. I've never seen anyone do that. That's a brilliant move. Charge the Tetra Spirit while you wait for Allrocks to get into his attack. And I think he even started the um he got the tetra spirit off before the bats spawned which um means that the te the spirits will probably more descend onto aurochs than the bats so that was a brilliant move so bravo that was fantastic i've learned something here and so should have everyone else that was really good it's just that we needed to use the the uh, the shield spell to increase our damage and i would have used the attack potion there so well done matthias see this isn't a complete roast this is really good First Echo, gross, but yeah, this is a good route regardless. So from Matthias killing um, Arox when he has, he's gained multiple levels at the same time, giving him more experience overall based on how it scales. Uh, CK.pl? I'm not clicking that. Oh my god. He's he's like, this is a roast. Yo, send him some malicious sights. I kind of like not um, wolfing there. Hold on, let me explain what I'm talking about here. So, um, let's go back for a second. So, we're in the wolf form here, right? We're staying in wolf, but does it actually save us? So, let's look at our MP here, right? All this time, there's like a, there's like three or four seconds we could be regenerating. That would give us like five extra MP because we have the Mystic Pendant. And then we're going to wolf charge into this thing and then go up. So, overall, our net MP loss is probably like... 15 to 20 maybe i don't know because this whole time we could have been recharging so now we're really low on mp it may not matter so it's not going to be like a inaccuracy or anything like that because yeah he's going to have enough time to recharge as he goes up and now he's going to the keep so he's getting a lot of auto logic checks out of the way but they're conveniently timed and he's going to at least like get his mp pool up to be higher because he beat orox early I'm on my phone for prepare for typos. Yeah, I know how it is. That's fine. Trying to listen to Matthias. His microphone's kind of um, quiet compared to everyone else. This is good. Is he going to go for the items here? Which would be fine. His game state's not that great here. I think this is a fine move. Oh, there's an another attack potion. And a fist of Tulkus. Wait, hold on. You're not gonna get the attack. You're not gonna get the attack potion. We don't know. actually. Well, I guess he's got. Uh. How do I feel about the second attack potion? So he has the fist of Tulkus, which is fantastic. The fist of Tulkus is amazing. That's gonna carry him. You want an attack potion for Dracula, and he has one. So maybe leaving it behind was okay. Like really, he should have just used the one he had. But I don't think he has use for the attack potion again with his Fist of Talkus. So we're going to say that's fine. Getting the Talkus is good. Yeah, we'll say this is good. I think you could have afforded to got the um, the attack potion. But this is fine. What? Yeah, exactly. But overall, it's fine. Like Getting the, getting the Talkus was the biggest gain. Oh, you should be talk. Wait, what are we doing here? Talkus, hold on. Yo, Talkus, Talkus. Yo, I like Talkus because it sounds like Tarkus from Dark Souls. Yeah, I already had one, so I'm not to grab. That's fine. Yeah, not a big deal. But we should have Tarkus here or Talkus. Oh my God, here. That would have saved us some time here. 
The shield rod, especially if we're not going to use the shield spell, which we, we clearly haven't, there's no reason to keep it on unless, like, we're really hurting for range or something. I'm going to say it's at least an inaccuracy. We've got, like, an exceptionally strong weapon in our inventory right now. We're not using it. Going for this is fine. Although his game state's way better than it was before. Yo, we gotta check that. Katana sucks, but what are you gonna do? Also, didn't grab the iframe item again. Like, that could come in play if we need to do silver ring and stuff. That's, yeah, I'm gonna say it's because the only iframe item we have right now is one high potion. We need more. Like, so, they're so valuable. Not grabbing the teleporter? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on here. He's not going to grab the teleporter? What are we doing here? Going to save here. I don't like this. Hold on. No, no, no. He realizes. Okay, this is good. He realizes. You don't need to save right now. Whoa, okay. Messed up that movement a bit. That's fine. Okay. No, don't want those. You do want the money. We don't know what's in the shop yet. So now we've got eight thousand dollar reduce plus any money bags, minus the money bags we could have got off the flea men. <laughs> You're gonna leave through the warp? Okay, I'm just trying to think how I feel about that, because we could have went to library, but you know what? It's gonna give us some other stuff. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on. Do I like this though? Uh, do I like this? This is gonna cost him twenty-ish seconds. He has enough to beat Dracula right now. He might want more money. You may be searching for library cards, but the library cards, the most of them are going to be in the library. And he has money to buy every use item except for the $15,000 one. Casual brain TBH? That's okay. I'm going to just say it's an inaccuracy. Like this, especially at your level, Matthias, you're, you're really good. Like with the, with the Fist of Talkus, you're set up so well. Like how many items help you right now? Yeah, I don't even like this. Okay, there we go. We're on the same page. The, um, so yeah, this doesn't help. So for everyone, right? The attic check is is really good. You get eight items in there, right? Yo, eight items. The um, But the problem is, is that you've got to go through like two screens to get up there. You've got to, like all this time you spent opening the door and waiting for this to open and stuff, you could be going down to get the things. So especially if you combine it with the, with the thing on the, or the, um, the pot on the side over here, it ends up being about 25 seconds. And you may be thinking, okay, but I'm going to get nine items out of it. But we're going to be here later for sure. And, like, at that point, we can say, okay, what's our game state? Do we need these nine items, right? The um, And you can gain a tempo on your opponent by saying, I don't need anything right now. I've got the Fist of Talkus. I can beat everything in this castle. And especially already beat the biggest problem, Ulrox, right? So if I feel like I need stuff going into the second castle, that's when I'll check it. And if you end up getting, like, Alucard Shield in the shop, then you just skip this completely, right? And you gain another 25, 30 seconds on top of the advantage you have with the yellow card shield, right? So all these things need to help. Now, to be fair, this might be really good. This could be a positive circumstance. Maybe he finds the yellow card shield and stuff like that here. But yeah, here we go. None of this helps. Actually, those two heart, refre heart things hinder. Okay, nothing. Okay, so we got more money. So it might work out for us, but so right now, it's costing like us time. At least. So let me show you here. Let me just do a statement. So at this point, this is when this is ends. So go. Oh, no, no, that's too far. What are you doing here? Wait, where am I going? No, here, here. Okay, I guess it's here. I got to go. So actually, wait, it's at this point because he's, he's, he's dicking around over here. So look at the timer, right? 1350. And we could probably bring it even lower. We could say this like 1347, right? And then let's go forward. Wait, what? Why is it a black screen? Oh, it's the screen transition. So 1347. So right now I have like 18k at least. 18k. Okay. So... About 30 seconds we lose here. So we take 30 seconds to get an opal, right? Like, uh Yeah, it feels bad. But again, it may work out for us, to be fair. 
Yeah, don't do the diagonal jumps here with the um with just wolf. Oh no 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 no! This is gonna be slow because we do lose our air control. Just go on the ground. The birds can snipe us here. Yeah, we go back to the ground anyways. Yeah, just keep it on the ground. And we may not need to go up there yet, but we're going to tempt fate anyways. We don't know what's beside us. Oh, actually, no, we do. He would have saw that already. I can't remember what it was or if it was anything, but he, he would know this. I must have been talking about shit and I forgot about it. Or that's my blunder. It's my review blunder. Okay, wait, wait, hold on. This is... So, he's going to check the item, which I, I guess is fine, but um, we need to note that Echo's here. So Echo is going to increase our, what we call, a vulnerability count. Do I not have Echo on this? No, I do have Echo on this list. So Echo is in flight somewhere. We don't know what level it's on, but what we do know is that Echo at this point, unless there's something ridiculous with this seed, does not increase our, um, our, um, our progression at all. And that can only happen three times in a seed. And we can use that information to our advantage. It's better than counting complexity. I, I call it the reverse count. It's in one of the um, the randomizer videos. So we need to note that it's here. Okay, bust over there. Wolfing here is no good. Yeah, you're just going to bonk. Wow. Yeah, er, we're going to be at this all day. Should I just go to... And yeah, we just want to... Yeah, this is no good. So you can see how we can bleed time here, right? Like, we've probably lost, like... Like, what did we say we lost before? Like, 30 seconds, and with some wolf movement, like, 45 seconds, right? So, we're gonna grab this. This is good. So, this is like a, um... Is it 50-50 territory? It actually, it kind of is. So, he's probably... Actually, no, it's even better than 50-50 if he goes back to the beginning. So, if he goes back to the entrance, he gains, um... He's gonna be able to do three checks. Entrance out of logic, and then two in logic checks in the lab, which he hasn't done yet, and that's likely where his next piece of progression is. He could out of logic, or alternatively, he could out of logic fire, or um, yeah, fire of bat, and then he could in logic fairy card, and then also check the shop and stuff like that. But he could wait on that and hope to get missed too. So I kind of like this. I'm gonna say that, I don't know if it, I wouldn't say it's excellent, like it's kind of like a 50-50. Let's just, we're going to chalk this to a 50-50, and then I'll mark it as a successful or, or um, a missed 50-50, if it doesn't work out well. I think either move is fine. And it and can be justified. Yeah, and you can hear Matthias talking. You didn't get anything out of logic there. He's, he's, he's working it out. Oh, it wasn't it. <laughs> it wasn't it. Castlevania, I'm sorry. Thanks, Shaky. <laughs> He's talking to his chat. It's yeah, fine. We're doing a lot of item checks here. Yeah, grab the potion. Okay, there we go. So we've got the potion. We got that now. So we have two iframe producing items. That's good. The potion's definitely worthwhile. I don't like the jumps here. You don't need this MP. I think it just slows down. Merman statue is fantastic. So is the strength potion. Great. Oh, you killed the bird, you son of a... Oh my god, we had our minds. Okay, so now we know on the same level as Echo, we also have Merman. Which might be the intended thing. We don't know yet. So Merman may not increase our vulnerability count. Meal ticket? That's fine. It was a good move to check that though. Pumpkin approves of the bird murder. But the only thing is, is if, if the bird murder happens, then Pumpkin can't perform the bird murder. F the bird, you know, F you. Popeye, they don't mean it, I swear. He's gonna be mad at him. Look at this here. I'm just trying to love you, bird. <laughs> yeah, go up here. Yep. Oh no. Oh, okay. It was good that we got the up move there because if we if we did the extra input, we probably got hit by the um by the bone. Yo, God's child raid. Yo, welcome. I saw you doing the Axe Lord stuff. Hopefully that went really well. We're just reviewing some Matias stuff here. We actually had a brilliant move, which is cool. Cube is always definitely worth here. Doing lots of analogic stuff, but it's cool. So we've... Our 50-50...
has worked out for us right now. Actually, I am going to say the 50-50 worked out because we didn't get the in-logic progression yet, but we did get Merman, and the next thing could be Jewel of Open. Are you review this where it sucks? <laughs> so I'm going to say positive 50-50. I think we made a good move there. But it was a 50-50. It could have worked out well either way. This isn't going to work. You're going to bonk. Yeah. Er. Yo, this movement's no good, though. Here, so here's how you can do this. Hold on. Let me... um. Because a lot of people struggle with this um, up here. So, um, let's we gotta go back one more. Okay. So, we're not going to say that this is a problem, but I'm just going to use this as a teachable moment here. I might have been at fault, was watching both streams at once. Yeah, you got a double fist. I double fist all the time. I try to do the multi stream on my phone sometimes, it sucks, but otherwise, I double fist. Class is in session, let's behave. Okay, so here's how this section works here, right? What's going to happen is I think Matthias is going to do a diagonal gravity jump up here. And it's the it, you don't need to do that move. So what you want to do is be close. Uh, I'll show it here for a second. Here we go. So you want to be at this ledge here. And you want to do a, a diagonal or a, a straight up gravity jump, right? And you're going to do that because you're not going to be aligned with this. Like you see this pattern in the background here? Like these two lines? That's the line you need. These are the lines you need to be in in order to keep gravity jumping straight up. So we're not going to be in that. But because we didn't turn into wolf yet, we're going to maintain our air control. And, hold on, let me just bring it up here. Look at this here. So if we were to do a full gravity jump, it would end up right here. We wouldn't bonk on here. It would end up here. We could use our air control to position ourselves perfectly in the, in the hole here. Because this ledge won't let us go any further. We're not going to land up here. We're going to hit the ledge. And then we can wolf here in midair. And now it doesn't matter that we have no air control. Because we just go straight up. And then we just do a diagonal jump at the end. It sounds small and it is. So like we're not going to like criticize it too much. But we're going to lose so much time here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven... 12, 13, right? Like, and to be fair, like, so maybe it's a 10 second because you have to do the other moves, right? So like, we lost 10 seconds there because of it. So it's it's fine, but um, but yeah, yeah, it's not a really well-known thing. But um, I wouldn't say it's worth practicing, but it's, it's cool to keep in mind. The, um, even with um, double jump, I just do the straight up jump and then I I push over to the left, or sorry, the left for you guys, the, um, to, um, to hit that, um, sidewall and then gravity and then just continue gravity and jumping up from there it just gives you the straight shot every time and ready there we go that's cool movement there what do we got over here and we got the jewel of open nice this is this has come out really well so we could even skip do we dare skip the outer wall this is a tough call I don't know what I would do here yeah, this is no good. Oh no, you you fixed it. Okay, there we go. That's fine. So that was in logic. So we need to um, put that here at level two, and we have the rando ring, which is fantastic. We don't have flight yet, so we don't know where these relics will be. Yeah, I might just go down here. Yeah, he's talking about going down. So you're kind of. I know you know what. This is actually the best move. Going down here is great. Because if he whiffs, or he needs to get to outer wall, he can do it from keep, and then get fire of bat. Oh, that was actually cool wolf, wolf movement. He didn't keep the momentum. That's fine. I'd, I'd bonk there for sure. So I like this. I think this is. I think this is an excellent move. Because again, if he misses it, he just goes to keep and gets the outer wall from the keep. And like he could have done that earlier, except he just he won the fifty fifty. Skull shield, unfortunate. So Gods is gonna Gods is gonna wait for this. Wait, wait. This is Gods' move here. No! What are you doing to us? Okay. The um so Gods is gonna be upset about what you just did there. So doing the so the blue door lets you buffer one input. And what we do most of the time is that one input is we backdash. And that gives you this space here for free. Which is good. Anything for free we're gonna take, right? But in Lycanthrope. If you're going to, um, um, whatchamacallit, if you're going to buffer one action, buffer into wolf. 
because what's even faster than this backdash is just wolfing faster. Because that's probably what's going to happen here. Oh no, he doesn't even wolf here. That's a bit of a problem. Oh, now he does. He realizes. Okay. So we lost a little bit of time there. I don't actually have a library card, so... Oh, you can hear Matthias talking about it. I don't have a library card. But we've got lots of opportunities for it. Succubus is next, right? Like, what, six item checks? Or this one, too? You're happy to lose time if it pisses off God's Child. Okay, there we go. Yo, the love here, guys, it's, it's so real. This is good. He knows the movement tech here. Whoa, 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 we fell off, though. Okay, that's fine. We still have the gravity boots, though. But that could have been bad. Another three-second lead for, for our lad. Okay, here we go. These item checks make sense. Especially in the next room. And, like, this is why the Addict is bad. Because we're going to get seven checks in this area, like, immediately. Another Opal. We've got tons of cash. The Dynamite? Mm. Actually, we, we don't need the dynamite with um, Fist of Talcus, and it's in an awkward spot. Yeah, you're right. You can untransform at the at the um, the screen transition to land it nicely. That's absolutely right. You save about a second doing that, at least, if not more. So we need to Talcus here. Hold on. We this is this is absolutely an inaccuracy. Not only is Talcus way better than our shield. And, and, and better than our spells, which we could use if we really want to. The Talcus special, the the Thousand Hand Smash here. Yeah, Fist the Succubus. The Thousand Hand Smash, the E-Honda move. You can use it in the air. And you stay in air. You can just be punching her right here in her midsection. No problem, right? So this is an inaccuracy here. We're going to lose time because of this. Now, to be fair, this isn't going to take that much anyways because our intelligence is rather high because of the items, but... Oh, no! Oh, no, this is more of a mistake. Oh, you can't forget about Tulkus. Yo, Tulkus. Did you did you play Dark Souls, uh, Matthias? Oh, and then we could have shield spelled here, too. This is more than accurate. This is a mistake. We lost a lot of time there, and that could have got out of hand. I, do, I can't check Merman, so, yeah, that's... Power of Mist? Okay, we want that. I'm not going to note it because it's not a... Um, it doesn't do anything for our um, progression. But yeah, Talkus, we gotta we gotta remember the Talkus. Oh, no. Okay, I was going to say, you can remember Talkus by Tarkus because he's a very memorable person. Yeah, remembering the equipment's a big deal. Like, you... like, And that's like what, when I was saying in like the long library today, like, I'm really introspective. Like, if I got Talkus and I wasn't going to use it right away, I would audibly say, I have Talkus to hopefully remember that I have it. Okay, doing this um, first makes sense. And I think you got the J, so you don't need to... Um, you don't need to um, worry about saving or anything here. And you haven't saved yet either. You've saved your your free... Um, oh, Dracula Tunic? Yeah, you can take that. The Brilliant Mail is really good for upping our defense. And as you guys will see when I do the video on statistics, hopefully later this week, um, additions to intelligence are way better than your baseline intelligence. Like, but, like, fourfold. Oh, right, nice cute movement there. But we're still using... Oh, wait, now we got it. Now, yo, Fist of Talkus. Fist of Talkus. Wait, what? Okay, that's fine. We're giving up on defense, but it's okay. What? Wait, what are we out of our minds? Look at this here. Oh, that's that's definitely... It. Well, the Talkus. Shield Rod's great to start with, and it's a very cool thing. Leaving Gas Cloud's fine. I'm kind of neutral on Gas Cloud. It's not a big deal. It's definitely not worth like realizing and going back. Yeah, we got to get the tall and like we saw the Talkus. Although maybe like again, when you're running it in the rando, thought about range. That's true, but even Talkus has range. You have the fireball. But even so, like in that succubus fight, just do the Tetra Spirit. You're gonna kill her immediately with our things. Um, yeah, you do, that's a shield potion? You probably don't need the shield potion. But you know what? Actually, I would have taken the shield potion. You know what? That is an inaccurate. We had an opportunity to grab a shield potion, and we didn't take it. Plus 20 defense on command is extremely powerful if things go poorly. And because we're on, a, on, a, on an auto cycle here, or on a, on a... What do you call it? The... Um, 
I can't remember the speed running term for it. I'm so dumb right now. Oh, the dark shield. Yeah, I grabbed that. There we go. That's a positive drop. The auto scroller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. We're on the auto scroller. Grabbing the um, the shield potion is huge. If we ever get into problems, we can pop the shield potion. Got a card here. That's no bad, not a big deal. Now, what this does actually is it solidifies that the merman statue was no bueno. So we know for 100% fact, even though we don't have flight yet, that Merman is not, um, Merman is not, um, whatchamacallit. It doesn't increase our, um, progression. So right now our vulnerability count is two. Technically, if we got that here, then, um, our echo check, which was behind flight, would be progression. So we can't be too certain on that. But we know we've got, um... Oh, Heart Refresh is fantastic. Doesn't look up for the item, but that's fine. Not gonna grab the Elixir. It's fine, but... Uh, the Elixir. The el again, it's another source of iframes. It full heals us. It would have taken like one second to grab it. Bit scuff movement there, but... Like, it's a tough section there, so it's not a big deal. We're going to open this for some reason. So that's, that's, yeah, this whole, yeah, this is definitely an action now that we grab that. So we don't need to do that. Unless for some reason you didn't have the thing set up. I like checking this, though. I know some people are saying this is a bad check, and I get why they say it, right? But if this is a bad check, Succubus is worse. Succubus takes way longer than this. And it's easier to access Succubus later. If you're gonna skip one of the two, I would skip. Sorry, no. Hold on, you gotta watch out. Don't screw up there. Big tuna can hit you hard. All right, nothing there. That's fine. I still think this is a good check. Missed that, but that's fine. It's it's a hard jump to make. Yeah, big tuna do be lurking. You know what I saw here today? You can stay in the wolf there and just and just swim up this small waterfall. I never thought about that. I was watching one of DB's runs and he did it. I think that'd be a really cool move. You hadn't set the DK skip yet? Okay, yeah, you gotta set that bad boy. Because this was a tournament race, right? There's no excuse now. We've we've had the DK skip for a long time. This section's really tough with Wolf to get down pat. If anything, yeah, like, it's probably faster to just run it. But, yeah, it takes 20 seconds. Do that shit right now while we're chilling here. Yeah, I can't remember these items. They don't seem very good. Monster Vial, Fire Boomerang. Yeah, Cheesecake, a very good cake. I would take the cheesecake over the tart. I don't know if that's a controversial opinion or not. Yeah, good cheesecake is fantastic. Not that tarts are bad, but if I had to choose. Ultimately, I'd choose lemon meringue pie. Oh, you did after this one? Okay. Yeah, and we can wolf through this whole section here. Yeah, we're losing time. This is the inaccuracy here. We can, we can wolf through this whole section. Look how many times we're getting hit. Donkey Kong's doing work, yo! Get a scoliosis ass! Yeah, look at him go! Look at him go! Yo, there he- now he realized. Oh no! He did it again! Oh no! Yeah, guys, don't- just don't- Oh, and now- oh, we don't have it, that's right! Oh no, okay. This is a mistake, actually, because now we don't even have Donkey We've lost so much time. I'm gonna take away the other one, and we're just gonna chalk this up to one big mistake. I'll get wrecked, oh my god. Now when we say tart, do you mean you mean the food? Yeah, yeah, of course the food. Get away of checking. Like a sweet tart. Even like tart as like a concept, like you know how like Granny Smith apples are tart? I like that too. You know, a little sweet sour action at the same time? I could go for it. Oh see this again, Talk is here. I don't mind. Actually, you know what? I do mind. The rebound stone would have been great if we kept the brilliant mail on, because each one of them would have hit ten more points. The mistake was not set up. Absolutely, yeah. But even then, like it would have been faster to just wolf through the whole thing and then do like the um, like untransformat Donkey Kong, like and just let your momentum take you, or just go through the whole screen and set up. Donkey Kong went to town on us there. Okay, we got a, ourselves a body. Is that our first one? It actually is. Wow. So that's information for us. Now, unfortunately, what sucks for us 
is, um, yeah, we can't check Spike Breaker, and it's going to be a bit of an L, and we'll put it as a negative circumstance if, like, Spike Breaker's in the library. But I still think this is the right route, because now he can go from keep. If he takes the Forbidden Route, I'm going to lose my mind. Don't you take the Forbidden Route. Don't you do it, Matthias. Keep. Let's go. Keep. It's the next teleport to as well. Yeah, keep. Keep, buddy. Keep. No! Where are we going? Where are we going? No, the keep. Are we going to entrance? Hold on. Are we going to entrance? Wait, where are we going? Wait, is he realizing it? Where are we going? We've been to all of them. Yeah, because the game couldn't, uh, couldn't have sent us. Yeah, to me, this is like... You might get to the outer wall faster here, but then, like, I think you're going to lose more time not checking the top. And, like... It's going to be so tempting to go up and then go back down, right? Like, like you could get missed up there because we haven't got anything with flight yet. Yeah, I think keep was the way to go. Is it... I think it's a little harsh to say it's a blunder, though. Is it a blunder? Let's, let's, let's watch this. It's at least... This is at least a mistake. No, I think it might be a bit faster, but I think it's faster overall because you can get Fire of Bat out of Logic. You'll have less room transitions, and you can go from the outer wall top down rather than going up and then back down, right? Or you might miss Mist. Yeah, and like there, you could have got a library card on the way too. Like, there's a lot of checks through that corridor. I'm gonna meet you halfway. I'm gonna say this is a mistake. I think you're going to get to Outer Wall quickly. But then, like, we're going to have to go up and get Fire of Bat. We're going to have to go up to check the, like, the... Well, the Outer... Or, sorry, the Outer Wall Relic where Wolf is. Oh, wait, hold on. What's this? All right. I didn't even think about this item check. Yeah, especially if we didn't go round and round in circles there. We would have been at Fire of Bat already, yeah. Because now, like, you're kind of forced to go to library, like, right now. Unless you want to go all the way up to the top. Mojo Mail's fantastic. Mojo Mail is going to add 50% to our spells. The fantastic... More McGill is less fantastic. This took 78 seconds. Wow. Yeah, th I think this... Can Whoa, Duplicator! Hold on, hold on. Positive circumstance here. It's a mistake, but he got a Duplicator. He wouldn't have got that going the other way. You got lucky, Matthias. You got lucky. But this costed you time. And yeah, now you're... So here's the thing. You're forced to go to library. Oh, wait. No, now you're going to go check fire... No, wait. No, now we're indecisive. Hold on. I'm going to check everything. I get why we're checking fire of bat, but we could have done it the other way. I like how you didn't immediately check the... um Or put the duplicator on. There's no reason to right now. The one thing he did avoid, though, is he didn't have to fight Aquadon. But again, Aquadon would have taken two seconds if he had the Fist of Tolkis. Yeah, just Soul Steal is bad boy. You can get all those at the same time. I do have a Buffalo Star, so I don't think I'm gonna... Uh, oh, no. We got a Three Stooges episode here. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think that overall, think this wasn't the right move, but he got the duplicator from it, and he wouldn't have got it otherwise, so it worked out well, so we can only fault him so much. But that was a cool jump, so. Okay, card, that's fine. We had to check this. Also, though, the thing is, we would have got more item checks going the other way. Do you mean Grand Faloon? No, 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 no. I, I, I wasn't talking about Grand Faloon. And do I open but, I, but we gotta think about Grand Faloon. Something could be a Grand Faloon. Absolutely. Especially, actually, now that we think about it, you know what? Secrets is right here. I'm going to talk for a moment why Secrets is right. Fight Aquadon. So, yeah, because he didn't fight, because he would have had to have fought, no, not Aquadon, sorry. I mean, um, what's his name? I always forget his name. Um, the, the bat guy. 
who who fight just before going to keep. What's his face again? Cross him on. I got the wrong mon. Okay, so but he wouldn't have been a much of a problem. Yeah, bat bitch. Yeah. So here's the thing though. You could hear Matthias talking about. I didn't think about it, but Secrets is thinking about it. Is that there's no guarantee of this flight here, because we got Eye of Vlad at um at Demon Card, and we didn't get any other progression anywhere else in the bottom, right? And this could just be a Power of Wolf seed, so there may be nothing here. I do think it's okay to come here first because fire of bats out of logic you can go to the library and there's another in logic check there and like you've got all the money in the world so he's probably tempted to spend it which is fine and like you kind of want to avoid the bottom until you absolutely need to go down there he could buy heart refreshes here there's all sorts of things like he gets options here but it might be grand faloon if it is grand if it's grand faloon he's going to get a, a missed 50 50 and if it's um if it's here, he's going to get a successful 50-50. But that was high IQ play from Secrets there. I didn't even think about that. And I should have been. Yeah, and he's talking about 66% chances. Although I don't necessarily agree with that. It's not necessarily 60. There's only one thing, at least from the next level. And his vulnerability count right now is exceptionally high. Unless he gets bat here and then it's lower. But like right now it's 2. Yeah, exactly. That's what should be, or it could be like missed here into flight, or I don't know. But you're right; it's likely flight here. Wait, well, he's checking the items. That's good. High IQ. It didn't work out for him. That's fine. But we're gonna say that's good. It's good to check those items. He has a duplicator now too, especially. Rebound stone would be cool in this room to play around with because it actually is one of the run, one rooms where we'll actually rebound. Yeah, but this is where like the Morma Gill would have been good even because like these guys resist hit, so they're gonna take two hits, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I hate you guys too. But again, you don't want to just put Morma Gill on for those guys. Okay, let's see what we got over here. Are we gonna hit the 50 50 or are we gonna miss it? Ultimately, I think this is a good decision, but. Okay, he's gonna miss it. But we get Bone, so it's not all bad. So Bone is here. He's not going to get anything here. I can almost guarantee it based on his um, vulnerability count here. Unless the ring was... No, yeah, he's got nothing here. Alright, so we're going to say six successful 50-50. Yeah, there was never going to be anything here. So, and you can read that. Because our vulnerability count is high... There's only one other time where two progression relics could be on the same level. And the most likely place for that to happen is the second castle. Oh, I missed all this shit in the, in the shop here. Oh, but he's got duplicate. It doesn't matter. He's just going to duplicate his way through. Yeah, don't worry about your armor. There's the Tolkis! Oh, he bought a Medusa shield. Okay, yeah, Medusa shield's high IQ. Right, we got to put that as good. I didn't see what else he equipped, but he's got Buffalo Stars on. That's good enough. So, yeah. so now he's got to go to Grand Falloon. And I didn't see... Oh, wait, he has... Wait, he's got Heart Refresh, doesn't he? Didn't he get a Heart Refresh earlier? Wait, someone someone, keep me honest. Didn't he get Heart Refresh? Or at least he saw one. Bad, right? He can do the bottom now. He's got the Duplicator. I think he has a Mana Prism in the airhead. Okay, that's great. He did. Okay, so he has... One eye frame producing item in the mana prism and all the other things he has, and he has the heart refresh. He can do he can do spike breaker right now. He has the opportunity for like this would be a brilliant move. Especially like this would this would cement a fantastic run potentially. Yeah, but the thing is, if it saves you a trip to second castle, it's totally worth. Especially right now, his vulnerability count right now is so high. No, he checked fire bat. Fire bat was nothing. That's not entrance. Hold on. That's entrance. Now we're going to the snake. Or unless maybe he was counting ahead. That's fine. Yeah, he's got the bottom. Yeah, we gotta we gotta learn our animals. We gotta do a tier zoo of all the um of all the animals that show up in this thing. 
No, it's okay. Hey, I've missed a bunch of things in this thing, too. It's all good. It takes a village to raise a Matias here. Doesn't check the items to the side there, but I think that's fine. He's probably very comfortable with his game state right now, and, you know, you gain a couple second tempo from that. Like, the more item checks he can avoid, the better. And he's going to get a ton up here. Like, all these graves, and then there's two items afterwards. There's, like, six items right here. Typing on phone sucks. Yeah, 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 it totally sucks. It's the worst. I appreciate you even trying. Another strength potion won't matter now. More money doesn't matter. Okay, so he's good. The only thing that helps him right now is library card. Yeah, texting is kind of done. I remember um, back in the day, um, this must have been like 20 years ago, my neighbor's kids were sitting on top of a mailbox, like, and like, there's actually size on the mailbox to be able to sit on top of it. So it's, it's elevated from the ground. Gods will probably know what I'm talking about. Canadian mailbox and actually secrets as well. And they were just sitting there like doing nothing. And one of them was like, oh, I wish I was texting. It's like, you're here with your friends. Yeah, the community mailbox. Like just chilling with their friends. And like, oh, I wish I was texting. Oh, this is brutal. There we go. Yeah, get the spells in there. Spells are great against this guy. Although we've taken off a lot of our plus two intelligence items. Oh, we're missing. Yeah, exactly. You got the community mailbox. Perfect. Yeah, I got one across the street for me too. I think they're cool. This is taking way too long, dude. Back in the day, I wanted to play baseball with people, and none of my friends would, so I posted a piece of paper on the community mailbox yeah, saying that I was going to set up a, 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 um, a baseball league in the, my backyard, which was, it was not big enough to play baseball in. Oh, it's bad! Oh, wait, hold on. His vulnerability count is actually going to go down now. Because now, here's this. He's got bat. This is going to be... Actually, even though we got this... Wait, why did I say this was successful for TV? It wasn't even. No, it was unsuccessful. Because he didn't get anything. Oh, no, because he got the duplicator. But at what cost? This is a missed 50-50. Yeah, and this is the risk in Lycanthrope, because... It can easily give you bad as flight because it's not trying to hold back um, transformations. So this is problematic for our lad here. At least he doesn't have to worry about the heart refreshes now. But our complexity counter looks like this. Bat goes here. This goes here. This becomes in logic now. Now, it's this could still be nothing. Actually, I don't think it can be nothing. Because he's checked everything else. Oh no, what's going on here? Matthias, live! Let's try again. Hey, I, didn't, I didn't see all that. Wait, you can go down here. Yeah, yeah, okay, you've got it. Okay, you got it there, perfect. Yeah, he, he saw he didn't get it, but he saw it. So he knows where it is. It was in the in the, it was in the keep. So even though he misses 50-50, at least he has the duplicator and a mana prism, though. So, like, this is good. So, like, both the, both things actually worked out for him, although behind. And then we're going to get missed. Yeah, so Echo was in logic then. So our vulnerability count actually went down. The only thing we haven't, we whiffed on was Merman statue. And now we can, um, oh, and he's got the library card, which he can now duplicate. Fantastic. Yeah, you can wolf bat to the end. That's true, too. When you go into that bad boy. Yeah, this is required flight into re probably required um, mist. Now, he's got to he's got to make sure he checks silver ring. If he doesn't check silver ring, I'm going to be out of my mind. So this could be a ring here. This could be holy glasses. Those are pretty much the only two things. And then we will have done everything but not skipping stuff. Feels good. But he's vulnerable to other people because if they... like So like Chris, like who he's racing against, hasn't raced as much as the other lads just because he's busy with work and shit like that, which is reasonable. So he probably doesn't know. Yeah, here's Spike Breaker. Oh no, Spike Breaker. Would this have been a case? Actually, you know what? No, this is... This whole thing is a mis... Oh no, I guess it's not. He could have avoided all this by just going to Silvering to begin with. And high IQ play would say, I need Holy Glasses. 
So either Spike or, or Silver Ring is likely to be the last Vlad, or it's going to be my Holy Glasses and I can skip whatever's in the library. But I get because we're library carding, this is fine. I don't think this is a mistake here, actually. Yeah, a ring would be nice. But yeah, so... Hmm. So he got... He got Spike Breaker... Where did he, when did he get Spike Breaker, actually? Because he has it, right? Yeah, when did he get that? Am I tripping? Oh, you know, he got it right now, right? Yeah, he just got Spike Breaker. So Spike Breaker is level 6. Level 7 is Holy Glasses, right? Or it might be a ring, but let's just say 11's, 7's Holy Glasses, and then 8's going to be his final Vlad. That's what I'm going to guess. Yeah, just now. Yeah, yes. I'm, I'm just tripping. So the thing is, like, if, if he was using just teleporters, avoiding the library would have been um, very high IQ. But because you're, because you're library carding, which is reasonable from the position he was in, and the fact that he had a duplicator... This was fine, and you're never going to leave that behind. It, it stings to get Spike Breaker there, but like, you're never going to not check it. Yo, you got a buzz going right now? Sweet. Yo, I'm on my pizza buzz. I ordered some pizza tonight, and I'm not sad about it. Although it felt a slightly undercooked. I like my pizza really well done. Yo, you're here because of DB? Yo, let's go. You know what? I'm here because of DB. I would never have raced this thing if I didn't find DB. So, cheers to DB. He's a lad. Not everyone who races in the Long Library is a child of Dragon Blitz, but like I'd say, a lot of us are chi are just Dragon Blitz's children. Yeah, there it is, the pumpkin dance, guys. I still listen to Pumpkin Hill all the time. Actually, is that a DMCA? Hold on. Just guys, in honor of DB here. Hold on. Where's my liked songs? I play, I smash this all the time. I gotta make sure that I don't go into another song because it's gonna be DMCA'd, but where is it? Here we go. Guys, all the fucking time I listen to this song. Not only did I get the randomizer from DB, but this song. This one's for DB. This might get DMCA'd on YouTube, but whatever. But I hope you're doing well. Any cage, is that be the way I pronounce it? So I'm be really bad with names, whether they're code names or actual names. And I majored in history, figure that one out. But yeah, this one's for TV. This what a what a guy. Yeah, a little bobble there, but that's fine. So rings would push this to complexity nine. It's possible, but not likely. Yeah, man, Son Rando's amazing. Yeah, that's true. History isn't the same as linguistics, but like, I'm just bad at remembering names and pronouncing them. Oh, it is! Yo, this is a complexity 9 seed? Gross. Oh, gross, it is. This is why the reverse counts so much better than counting complexity. Ew, this is gross. And we don't even have Leafstone yet. Oh yeah, we opened the teleporters, this is fine. Or the shortcut to the route we took. So that was even better, our initial route enabled this. If we took the outer well route to begin with, this would have been bad, so that's why that's a good route. We're gonna save time because of that. Can we get the wolf jump? Nope, we're just gonna stop here, that's fine. Oh man, Pumpkin Hill is such a great song. I think I was in his Discord a while ago saying like, who's still listening in 2030 or 2023? Okay, that's the end of the song. Oh shit, don't do it, don't do it! Okay, there we go. Alright, I just stopped it right before we were gonna play Boys and Blondes by Dear Rouge. For my Canadian friends out there, Dear Rouge is an amazing band. Good Canadian content. Oh wait, hold on! Wait, he needs the other ring! Where are you going? Hold on! He left the ring in the thing! Oh no! Oh no! Remember when I said he had to go back for the ring? He's forgetting! Oh no, this is a blunder. This is, yep, yeah, huge blunder here. He, he hasn't realized it. His tra you can see his tracker. It's right here. Where's the ring? Oh, here it is. Fuck. Now, oh no, he fell. Oh, that was the worst. He fell. So it's still a blunder there because, like, he could have lost an entire minute there if the thing closed. Huge blunder. 
okay. mitigated by the fact that the, that the door didn't close on him. But oh my god, if he fell the whole way and the door closed, brutal. Yeah, it's like double blunder if it closes. Oh my goodness. He forgot about the ring. Now I understand it. But you know what, guys? Let me tell you the best tool. There's two tools, actually. I can't find the other one. The best tool you can have in the randomizer is a notebook. Write it the fuck down. Seriously. Like, I do that sometimes. If I have to bail on, like, the library relic, if it's, like, $500 and, um, and I don't have the money and it's a Vlad, I write down library. It's statistically proven. You will remember things more if you write them down, even if you don't refer to it. Yeah, I write down only that kind of stuff. I'll write down, like, um, ring or shop. Like, one word. No, no sentences. I don't, like, this whole, um, this whole chart here, I do not write that out. I will make tick marks, though, for the reverse count, although I'm good about keeping that in my head now. But it's just, it's just very quick. Yeah, key slash budge board. Something that will make you remember. Like, guys, there's a reason why I sing the Scylla song, right? Like, anything to jog your memory. If find pain is the best teacher, that's... Yeah, yeah, pain is a good teacher. Experience, experience is a great teacher, yet a cruel one. And now I can only think about Pumpkin Hill. Cheers, everyone. Where the hell's DB? Cheers to you, DB. Great runs, great music. Just keep your hands off my world records. Look, I don't run any percent, all right? I keep my hands off yours. I'm just kidding. You can you can beat my times anytime. This is gonna be holy glasses. It's gotta be. Yeah. Oh, high IQ move equipping the um the library card earlier. I'm gonna say that's that's good. It's dangerous, but it's good. If you're gonna be in the menu, just put in. Yeah, pour, yeah, pour one out for our lad DB. He's a good guy. Yeah, vanilla silver ring. I love the the, the term too. Holy pour glasses. one out. I think it's fun. <laughs> Both vanilla. All right, so now we're kind of on rails now, right? Like, we only have two Vlads. They're in the second castle, and we just got to find them. We've got Duplicator. We've got Mana Prisms. We've got Stars, right? Like, we're just we're just mad chilling now. Just like the Burb, who's just decided he's going to stand in front of the camera the whole time. There's all sorts of space the Bird can go on this monitor. And just decides, you know what, I'm going to be on camera. Yeah, will it be creature? Yeah. So the fact that we have well, like, there's no way left side's the best side in this case. There's three things, right? Like, like for nothing to be on the right side. And the thing is, too, right? If you're Matthias, like, do you feel you're behind in this case? Like, yeah, there's been a, like, the one, like, he, so he has two blunders, right? But like, like maybe they cost him like, like a minute, minute and a half, right? Because he didn't have to wait too long for the door, and at least he mitigated it a bit with um, with the checking gravity boots. And he realized his gold ring... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, no, this is dangerous. Yo, do it. Yep. Okay, you got it. You got a second try, though. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, what was it? I think it was you, Gods, like, in the, the long library day, saying just, like, do the double um, Tetra Spirit. And that's such a good idea. Unless we're about to die, or... Right before fighting drag to equip us. Or even do the single and then just hit it with the stars. Be good to go here. Yeah, you have to space it right, that's right. But the single with stars would work. I do the single Tetra Spirit with um Leapstone and a two hitting sword and it works. I don't think so, so So is this all the stuff is he gonna find anything else in here? He's going to find Leapstone. That's going to make his vulnerability count 2. And then it went up. It's going to go to 9. So, yeah. That's where the vulnerability counts great. Because you, you, you get through these situations here. If you're just counting complexity. But I guess because Holy Glasses was the last piece in the chain. It didn't really matter too much anyways. Unless he big, big brained it to Silver Ring. Which isn't likely with the library cards. Yeah, we could have skipped the attic checks. Absolutely. There was no reason to do the attic. He 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 big brained the um the duplicator, Ask and he shall receive. which is gonna save him. But even then, like it it didn't help him at all. 
So that that's another 30 seconds there, right? Now, I don't know the result of this race. I don't know if he wins it or he loses it, and I don't know by how much. But yeah, all these things add up, right? Like, you're starting to see, like, you, how you can, like, turn a seed, which has relatively gone well for him, right? Like, for the most part, there's been blunders, but nothing too, like, impactful. He got some duplicators, but you could easily shave, like, a lot of time off this. But again, I say that, and then I'm going to screw up the same things when I run it, guys. You know, rando brain's real, right? There's nothing realer than being really dumb while playing the game. And I, I remember talking about this. Um, it may have actually been during DB's tournament when... um, Yeah, it was, because I remember he had to go AFK for a second. So I was just myself um, commenting at one point. And I was just telling Chad, I'm just like, it seems so obvious when you're watching... And you're like, I could do this no problem. And then, but when you're racing, it's hard. It really is. So we can talk a little, well, this isn't so much emotional intelligence, although it comes into it. But part of the idea of emotional intelligence is legit, your brain can do four things at once. If you're in the right mind state. And like, you have to be like, okay, I'm playing the game. I'm routing, right? I'm thinking about something in the future, right? And then if you start getting tilted, these four become like one. So it, it becomes really hard. Like the pressure gets to you, right? Like you just you just easily tunnel you just tunnel vision. And it's natural, it's a human thing. It's like when you if you ever like watch like a, a like it's like someone like getting into an argument, like it's exactly what's happening because at that point they can only think about one thing. That guy is a jerk. That guy is a jerk. That guy is a jerk. And like nothing else is working. So it's so easy. Again, that's why the paper is worth it. Because it it, act, it helps to keep things in mind. Now here's the funny thing. He hasn't got anything on the right side here. So his left side, best side here? We've got two more checks to find out. That would be funny if this was the left side, best side. I, I'll If it was the left side, best side, I'm just going to give it as a, um, a missed 50-50. Even though the odds are, are not 50-50. Left side's always the best side. Yo, you don't even. Don't even. Sometimes it is. Right now it's not looking like a creature skip seed. Oh yeah, Matthias is working it out. He's not going to be skipping creature, right? So this is good. Like, the more... So, here's the thing, right? Where you get good at either this game or anything in life is when you can do things effortlessly you don't have to think about them, you can use these four capacities of your mind to do other things. Like, if he was playing this the first time, he wouldn't be able to forward think, even if he knew the answer, because there's just too much going on that he has to think about, right? But the more that just comes naturally, and that's like that's like what happens with, like, Formula One drivers. It's not so much that they have a higher um, um, reflex rate, which they do, but not by as much as you'd think. It's that they're so practiced and stuff, they can do everything on autopilot. Does he have picks of dad? I don't think he does. Heard men tell you're a crappy immune system. Okay, here we go. We got one. Okay, so left side was not the best side. <laughs> Which one did he get there? Ring? No, I. Or I might have put ring in the wrong place. Whatever. He's going to miss. So all three of these are on the last level of complexity. That's pretty crazy. I'm exploring a new route in certain situations in the second castle. I'm interested in this. I know me and Shaky were looking at some different routes at one point. If we could like ever justify using the um, the entrance teleporter, and it didn't work out. But I love new ideas. Like we've come so far, right? Like the manly split used to be like very meta, and for good reasons. But over time, we just discover things. Our immune system is passive; only kicks in when it knows signs off. Whereas Bat's immune system is always on. Well, that's really interesting. I'm kind of glad our system's always off, though, because isn't our system, like, really resource-intensive? Guys, let's get into the biology conversation. Well, Matthias, there's this, this bad boy out. Yeah, that's what you've been looking into. Yeah, we could just justify ourselves. Oh, um, well, this will be fine. Yeah, again, up here this way. Actually, that's, that's fine. The setup is... He's doing the fight properly here. This is, this is a good fight. 
Yep, jumps at the right time when the thing breaks. Awesome, very good. Yeah, it can also attack itself. Yeah, our, like didn't Kurskazar just welcome, do a video on that? How our, our immune system is really just Thanks a big jerk. Day, dude. Welcome, welcome. Hope you had a nice oh, not really. Okay, maybe I'm, maybe I'm tripping. Yeah, Burb's here. Burb's been Doing hogging the camera. Qualifier race here for the latest Soden tournament. Please the light control preset and. And then there See, is the I'm joy of immune privilege sites. I may be missing something. What are we talking about here? It, so we well, talked a lot about immune systems, so I'm not sure which one's the privilege sites. Gameplay. Yeah, okay, dude. I'll, so I'll probably just miss some. I think we might take like a, a quick break before the. Yeah, Matthias is already thinking about his next race. So should be good to okay yep look at him he like you can see the bat flutter flutter in there matias is probably just spamming the input so it doesn't drop and that's fine especially in that room actually we could have looked at his mp actually we can do that hold on, hold on. yeah he's just spamming the input which is fine oh does he have a clock grab here hold on. oh i did miss it Oh yeah, this is, no, he doesn't need this. This is a, this is an inaccuracy. He has the stone uh, Medusa shield. He didn't even need that. It probably comes out in the wash because um, you'll have to equip the Medusa shield and like unequip it and stuff like that. So yeah, it's probably good. And like, it's not like he's gonna lose it here. Although he's gonna go creature. Creature is the right decision here. This is a um, this is an excellent decision. You're missing two. You can't afford to go in crisp split here unless you feel very behind. This is the right move. This is the right move. If you ever need more than one thing, and you, especially with mana prisms, it's not even a question. You just, you just, you just creature. Yeah, this is the right move for sure. Because the thing is, if you, if you go to, um, the, but the thing is, he needs two things though. He's missing two. So the the problem becomes is if he gets one and has to come back to creature, especially if he gets the other one late, he has to run the whole way back. You just you just hard lose. Going he went the left side, which is good in this situation because he has as much mana as he needs. And then here's the Vladdy. Here we go. Yeah, so it's not so much the number of checks in this case, it's that you because he needs more than one, the likelihood is that or or if he um if creature has sun, you're just you're screwed. Mas galera, quem tava assistindo a live aí do do Vitinho? Yeah, yeah, no, there's good odds that's not a creature for sure. It's just that you can't take the risk with two of them. If it was one, you always take the risk. But with two, I I think it's an inaccuracy to do it. Yo, ZX Chrono is following Matias. What a lad! And you guys should go and do the same too. Go follow Matias. He plays a lot of rando. ZX Chrono. It's all good. Obrigado pelo follow, Icar. Tamo junto. If, with deltas in time, yeah, we could probably do some of that math if we need to. But I, I still think like just you lose so much time if if creature has something because you can't just um. Oh, there is there there it is. Thanks, gods. You because you have to keep. You can't like save split it. If it's just one and you're wrong, you can at least do the Chris split. Oh, you spelled it wrong. They can search it. <laughs> Guys, you can see his, his name's up here underneath the, the level thing. The progression. Oh, we got the best song here, too. There we go. I like doing um, I like doing Doppelganger first when you have mana prisms. Because you don't need to worry about regening mana. And also, you can... Um, you can... Um, wing smash out of that room to the right when you leave, and you can get an extra hit on the um, on the block, which is going to be impactful because he can't hit the block right now with his weapons. He doesn't have any, so he's going to have to do a spell. Let's see if he does it here. Probably not. It's kind of a niche thing. No, he did it. There you go. He got the hit in. Oh, dark metamorphosis. There we go, and he gets it there. Wonderful. But you could lose so much time, but if it's only 10%, what amount of time makes it worth it? I don't know, we'd have to time it out. But I think it I think it costs you way more time to go back from... Oh no, it does, objectively, it costs you way more time to go from Grand Falloon to Creature than it would just to do Creature.
Yeah, he should stop spamming the wing smashes. You're right. It's good, or like I don't mind it in the um, the guardian room because like you're just trying to make sure you don't drop anything. But yeah, it it creates like you don't want to go up higher in this room, right? And look, you 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 will naturally edge up higher with um with a what call it the wing smash, unless you correct for it, which is tough. It takes a lot of like practice for that. No, it's not Gallimoth versus creature. It's just like um. It's just, if, well, you'll be, if it's at creature, if it's at creature, you, you're going to go all the way to Gallimoth. You're not going to go, like, do Force of Echo and the other one and then go back at that point. You're going to go all the way to Gallimoth. And then because you've gotten at least one thing, then you've got to go back. Yeah, if you hit the... But it's probably Gallimoth, right? Because no one else has... Yo, 50 is doing the deep analytical work here. Uh oh, we're getting hit by sides here. That's a problem. You got to control this fight. It's like a lot of fights in Soden. You can't let it get out of hand. Oh no, this is a um, this is a mistake. It doesn't really fit in inaccuracy, but yeah, you gotta, you just gotta, you just gotta kill this fight immediately. And he's really close. Don't get hit. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, it's so easy with Buffalo Stars. Like a lot of fights in Sone, if they get out of hand like this, or um, especially Shaft, it just murders. Yeah, you don't need to be that close. <laughs> yeah, Bird is just making his presence felt. He's just like staring right at me. Aren't you, Birdie? Come here, come here. Let me, let me, let me shake your. Oh, I want to scratch his head, but he's not into it. You don't need to be this close, he's talking to the burb. <laughs> Takes a bird to talk to the bird. Popeye would rather talk to me than the other bird in this house. He doesn't like Guinness that much. To be fair, Guinness is a bit of a jerk. He's a bit of a bully. But he's probably just because he's young and trying to make sure he doesn't get bullied himself. You know, he's the new kid in town. The new kid in the... Or the new um, person... In the cell block. I mean, like, I don't want to say, like, my place is like jail, but I mean, like, he literally lives in a cage. So he's got to assert his dominance early. Oh, we're not going to save here. We're YOLOing. Hold on. He's going to do the Talox setup here. Put in a second item. Rashrukin. If this goes bad. Oh, wait, he did misbehave. Oh, but he's got the power. Okay. And he's got range, so this should be okay. Look at this pace, too. He's not losing a single star. And they're going up pretty quickly. Oh, no, he's losing some now. That's fine. It wasn't... He did mess up the thing a little bit. He, he mispositioned it. God's garb. Show to our boy God's child here. Mistake to not saving. Um, I'd say it's an inaccuracy. I don't know if it's a mistake. He didn't get killed. Like It would have been a blunder then. But I'd say in general you want to save. And he hasn't saved at all. So it's like he's going to auto-save immediately. Yeah, it depends on confidence of ability. Now, if he has... And God's won't like this. But like, if he has a sword that grants him invulnerability, then... It's no problem. If it doesn't work out, you can always just kill him from the bottom. It takes time, but again, like your like Cod's is saying, like your confidence in the ability and stuff like that comes into play. Certainly having the duplicator with stars mitigates as well, because if you lose him a bit, you can still get him at range and keep the um the thing going. Oh the timer's a bit cut off here. Oh, it's still off. What am I doing here? Do I just... I didn't capture the whole thing. That's the problem. Yeah. Oh, damn you. Only one opened right there. 
I'll do that. Resize. There we go. Nice. This. That. Oh, there's a. Ew, gross. Oh, I'm just screwing this whole thing up. I think I can explain why creature missing to is a mistake. Yeah, but you just lose if it's not. Like you have to go back from Galamoth. We can hear you. We'll let you. Maybe just send me some messages and stuff. It's not fair to, to do it in chat because I won't, you won't have enough like breathing space to be able to, to make your argument completely. But I'm willing to listen, right? You know, we've we've changed stuff with creature in the past, okay, so I'm willing to okay, listen. Okay, this is probably really close, but maybe we have a chance. Yeah, yeah exactly. Second, like, send me the spreadsheet. You know, I love spreadsheets. But it's actually. Yeah, there we go, we fixed that. I'm curious to hear Yeah, we'll get it. I need some time for your thoughts, though. Oh, we need some times for me, though. Oh, okay, yeah, we can get some times. Yeah, not now, though. Yeah, with 9.40 on a Wednesday, ain't nobody got time for that. Alright, so, I mean, this is pretty straightforward. So, like, we can start going into the whole thing here, right? So... The good news is there were two blunders, but they weren't big blunders. Like, they were mitigated, or they didn't have a really huge impact. He lucked his way into the duplicator, which is fantastic. It mitigated the fact that the 50-50 was really a loss because he should have got back. The, um, but ultimately, going down would have been a bit of a problem anyways. The, um, his competitors likely did the same, so it's safe, right? Like, most people aren't going to go down to Grand Fluent early. And for the most part, his movement's pretty good. Like, God's just saying, like, you know, you can cut out the the constant um, Wink Smash um, inputs. Bit of a miss on Galamoth with a misbehavior. It didn't cost him too much time. And the encoding's going to go to hell here. We're going to get Matthias's hell encoding on top of my hell encoding. So I'm sure this looks great for you guys. Yo, 69 damage? That's a win. Time. The route I would have done would have missed the dupe. Yeah, same here. Same here. I wouldn't have checked that thing. So it worked out really well for him. Yo, Matias is happy. There we go. We needed that. Very cool. And he had a really and he had the a brilliant move. No one has that in this race has played. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll meet this here. He had a brilliant move with um although ultimately his all rocks fight was bad, he did have a brilliant move to start the all rocks fight, which I appreciate. So I thought that was really good. So yeah, some great things for Matias here. The um some things to, a few things to work on, but all overall Matias is a fairly solid runner and stuff like that.